Hey there, internet friends, Larry the Music Guy here. Today we're going to talk more about the Line 6 Helix foot pedal board, uh, specifically the snapshots mode. If you're not aware of what the snapshots mode, or if you're just dabbling, starting to learn it, this is going to be an awesome video for you. Um, I base my whole programming scheme around snapshots mode, and uh, without giving away too much, basically it breaks down one preset into, count them, eight snapshots. So it's pretty cool what you can do with that uh, in addition to some MIDI commands for each one of the snapshots. And we're going to talk a lot more about that right after, wait for it, this. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm going to use uh, preset 21, which I save all my presets as songs. Um, so for today's instructional video here, we're going to use Raise Your Glass because I'm changing between, between clean and dirty, both internally on my Helix as well as switching the channels on my Friedman Runt 20 amplifier utilizing the command center uh, inside here and we'll get into that just just enough to show you how I'm using that here in the video as well but uh, first thing if you actually want to set your uh, helix up just like I have it you'll need to go into your settings into your global settings far right over there and they're gonna go under foot switches there's gonna be some uh, presets here that you need to make sure are set up right. So on the foot switches mode here, um, you'll see preset mode switches. You're going to want it to be set to eight snapshots. Okay, and what that's going to do, that's going to give you eight different snapshot settings or subdivided presets um, of your master preset. So there's a lot of different ways this switch can run. I'll go all the way to the left. So if you set it up as eight presets, you're basically using a preset for every foot switch. Um, and that's the old school way of mo with the way basically most um, effects foot pedal boards actually run, um, which is what's so cool about the snapshot mode once we get in here and show you. So this, you can go in and do a preset stomp selection, a stomp preset selection, a preset snap selection, a snap preset, a snap stomp, a stomp snap, <laughs> or eight snapshots. So anyway, all the way to the right, eight snapshots. The other thing, uh, snapshot mode switches, you want to go to manual return. And then your up down switches, which are over here, uh, will allow you to switch to different presets. Like I said, I use uh, I set mine up as a song as a preset so as I want to go to a new song I go to a new preset so you want those up downs to be set up preset mode so that you can switch out of the preset uh, format that's for each song or each preset so confusing you got presets and then you got snapshots snapshots are a subdivision of the preset okay so and then the swap up down I got that is off so once you set that up in your global settings which that will affect everything you do on your foot pedal board so it doesn't matter what um, preset setting you go into your um, global settings and that will set up everything globally which is why it's underneath global settings so anyway wanted to go there we're gonna hit the home button and come back in to raise your glass so like I kind of touched on real briefly a second ago, you got to think as a preset it equals one sound. So in the old days, you had a preset. You assigned what kind of distortion, what kind of delay, what kind of reverb you had. You wanted it on it, and then you saved it. And then you go to another preset, and you would choose whatever effects you want for that preset, and it is what it is. This is still very much true. So in in preset mode, you're assigning what sounds you want in that preset or song, um, and then 
that breaks down into eight variations of that preset. And what I mean by eight variations is in Raise Your Glass, these are called blocks. So these are your effects. So just real quick, run you through. I've got a noise gate on pretty much every one of my um, presets. I've got a minotaur distortion that currently is bypassed. And I've got an, uh, a send return for my FX loop one, which controls my four cable method, which we'll, ch we'll talk about that briefly as well. And then I've got an assigned um, preamp only of a US Deluxe. It would be a Fender. So um, I think the song's got kind of a jangly Fender kind of sound to it. So I only use it on one part to give it a little bit more boost on a harmonic part, which I'll show you. Um, so that's all in my four cable method pre, and then I've got my post. I've got a delay and a reverb. So, and you'll wonder why I have two different lines. One is going to my amp, all of the effects loops that I want, and going to my amp, and then I've got a direct signal as part of my four cable method that goes directly to front of house using the amp modeling and speaker modeling, and uh, and then I combine them together. But I'm gonna make a separate video on that later. But just wanted to show you what effects I'm using. So the way I set my helix up is. Every preset is a song. So if I cycle down, you'll see I'm going through all my songs. And as I change, you'll see there's different blocks showing up. So I've got different kinds of effects set up differently for each song. So that's a preset. Okay. So for me, a preset equals a song. You might want to set it up as a um, maybe the amp model version that you're using in here. So if you're using a Fender Deluxe, you could set it up as Fender Deluxe. If you're using a um, a Marshall, then you can set it up as a Marshall setting. So you can name it for what the amp model is versus naming it for what song. So if you only wanted to have like four or five amp models, have a lead channel, have a bunch of rhythm channels maybe some special effects like delays and reverbs that you can throw on from time to time. You want a real easy setup. I'd name your preset by the amp model. But once again, I'm using mine uh, by song. So I'm going to get back up to raise your glass here. So the only downfall to using snapshot mode is the fact that you cannot change a block. A block is an effects, or it's an amp model, or a speaker model. Whatever you assign to this preset is what it is. Now you can shut it off, you can change the volume, you can change the effects parameters, and you can also send up to six different MIDI commands or at one amp channel reverb change per foot pedal switch. So if you think about that, for every song you've got eight different sub presets to your master preset. So that's a snapshot. So for Raise Your Glass, the way I have my snapshot set up is snapshot number one is my verse. That is also sending a signal to my Friedman amplifier telling it I want to use the clean channel. And then snapshot number two is my chorus. That switches my Friedman to my dirty channel and also adds a little distortion via my, my Minotaur distortion. And you see I have to put that distortion pedal on both to my amp as well as my direct sound because I'm sending three different signals. My direct is a stereo signal and my amp is a mono signal and then that get mixed in at the front of house. So snapshot number three is a verse again and that shuts off the distortion, switches my amplifier to clean channel and then chorus number two once again kicks on the distortion, changes my amp to its distortion channel and then 
there's a breakdown that goes to clean and then um, there's one little part where it does a little um, guitar harmonic and it's only for about like one second literally but when I kick that in I'm actually turning on my amp modeler to just give it a little bit more harmonic so it's real easy to hit that harmonic um, right there and then it goes to the last chorus which is my snapshot number seven which again switches the amp also it's adding some delay and reverb because I make my um, verses sound really big um, and then the last thing is uh, foot stomp switch number eight which stays nothing changes here but it's what I call my blackout so it tells my lights to shut off so I use that a lot is usually in my eight spot in my snapshots um, because I can also send a MIDI command to it I'm telling that to be my blackout so it shuts all my lights off so when the end of the song is done lights go out and then when I go up to the next preset lights come back on automatically so the thing I really really like about snapshot mode is because you're not switching any of your blocks out and they, they're there you're not switching to a preset a preset has that momentary gap in between when you go from whatever preset you're on to that next preset because it's a lot of times changing to different effects to different amp models like that because it's a computer it takes just a fraction of a second to basically move to that new sound with snapshot mode that doesn't happen at all as you go in and out of clean and dirty and all that stuff there's absolutely no gap in any of the um, audio at all and another really slick thing is that I think is super cool and awesome if you go into your delays or your reverbs, the very last option you have, you page over, is trails. And what trails, if you turn that on, when you go out of a snapshot that has um, a delay or reverb on it, and you want, when you go to the next snapshot where you shut it off, you can have it hang over. So if you had like this huge, big delay lead going on, and then you want to go to a rhythm right after that lead that has no delay at all, it lets it hang over so that it's just a super clean, um, smooth transition. It doesn't shut that delay off really harshly when you go to that snapshot mode, um, unless you want to. In that case, you want the trails to be off. So what you're saying is, is if I go from this foot pedal where the delay is on to that foot pedal where the delay is off if trails are, are off then you are gonna it's gonna the delay is gonna be cut off right away if trails is on when you go from this setting where the delay is on to this setting where the delay is off when you go to there whatever that delay setting is set up at so if it's set up to repeat ten times at you know half notes it's gonna go down, 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 down. And then until it basically expires itself, the effect runs out with all the feedback and that, and then it'll go basically to the dry setting that it is. So I think that's super cool. The two coolest parts audio-wise is that you don't have that momentary gap and you can have your um, effects basically trail over when you go to a new setting where you're shutting that effect off. So real quick here, if you go into Command Center, here you'll see as I go through here, right here, basically my first, what they call instant, that little lightning bolt there, and I've got a video on this that explains this out, but for every foot stomp switch here, I've, I can execute six different commands so my first one is telling my amplifier whether I want it to be my clean channel or I want it to be my dirty channel so you'll see down here it goes from two ring which oddly enough two equals clean on my amplifier every amp amplifier may be different to one ring when it goes to distortion so it's basically a you know tip sleeve standard quarter inch that goes out of my line six to 
my Friedman Runt 20 amplifier and it switches automatically in here. So each one of these snapshots, foot switches, eight of them can do six different MIDI and or amp functions. Um, and it can also do, if you do ring tip sleeve and you've got reverb control over your amplifier, it can also do that. How freaking cool is that? So on my next command over here, I'm basically telling my vocal processor to go to a certain program and turn on. So, and then my always like my last channel is my um, light control software. So it's a DMX IS system, which I also have a video on that. I'm telling my uh, lights to change to different scenes, different channels. Uh, every time I hit one of these here it's going to change the program channel there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's changing that. Each one of these is changing my light channel. So my last one, program 64, is my blackout channel. So pretty slick how within snapshots, on top of being able to manage all your sounds, you've got six commands per foot stomp switch, and you've got eight of them that you can be doing MIDI-related functions pretty cool and incredible. All right, so I'm going to really quickly um, get things fired up here so I can kind of show you how I run this and just kind of um, basically run through it for you real quick. Okay, so here we are, snapshot. So preset 21, razor glass. Snapshot number one is a verse. So that is the beginning part that starts out with And then chorus part is uh, number. My first chorus is snapshot number two, which is. So, because I have my trails on. When I go to verse, I've got the reverb that I leave on, but the chorus. So watch this. So when I come out of that chorus, that delay hangs over, even though I'm already going to the. And then so course number two is snapshot number four and then there's a breakdown part where it goes So that's my harmonic, which is the gives a little boost and puts it in the mix a little bit more for snapshot number six. Then it goes back to the chorus, which is my out. So the last chorus is snapshot number seven, and then the end. So when I go to number eight, it doesn't change any of my settings, but it did black out my lights. So if I had my light show on right now, the lights would be off. So when I go to the next preset, which is my next song, watch this right here. I go up, takes me to the next song, and it turns my lights on for me automatically because number one says go to whatever light channel and have it be 100%. So pretty slick stuff. Hey, you made it to the end of the video, that's awesome. 
you really do rock. Appreciate you hanging around. Uh, if you like what you watched here today, please subscribe, ring that bell down below. We're going to be talking about lots of different things uh, about being a musician. Everything from being in a band, running a band, booking a band. We'll talk about recording in a home studio, writing your own songs. We'll be doing product reviews and anything else we find darn interesting about music. So if you find that darn interesting, please subscribe, ring that bell. But more than anything, remember to get on out there and guitar done. I love machines.